Hey. Hey, Deacon. Addie carved it herself. It's beautiful, right? Thanks. Yeah, it was a piece of redwood that Mike kept in his room. He once told me that when things settled down, he was going to make something out of it, like a <laughs> cribbage board. Wait, a what? A, he doesn't play cribbage. Meyer mm. might play cribbage. <laughs> no, no, but that's the point, that there'd come a day when something like that mattered again. Well, well what does it say? Eh, don't look at me. I just carved it. It's, a, it's an old Hindu proverb. My mother taught it to me. It reads, Rivers do not drink their own water. Trees do not eat their own fruit. And clouds do not swallow their own rain. What great ones have is always for the benefit of others. What do you think? Well, coming from you, I think that would have meant a lot to him. Yeah. Yeah, I think if Mike were here, he would probably say something like, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> uh, come on. Yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> he would have said, what the hell does that mean? Followed by, what the hell are you doing standing around here? The world ain't going to save itself, God damn it. Get right. to work. You're right again. Come on, guys, let's get to work. <sighs> oh, did I ever tell you about the time that Iron Mike saw Addie and I for the first time at the lodge in front of the fireplace. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> okay, so we were tangled up. No, 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 no. We were all up okay. in it. What? Addie, uh, uh, why? For the first time, and Iron Mike comes out and he looks at us. You this. You can stop. He had that grin on his face. I'm not gold. You're such a perv, You are a perv. Hey, we got a goddamn ripper here. Turn around. I'm not a ripper. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I know her. Uh, put that away. I got this. Okay. Take care of her. Not my problem. Is, is this your ride? It's a piece of shit, but it runs. Uh, well, I don't know if you're sticking around, but I could have Ricky take a look at it. I brought some bounties to trade. Okay. Then, uh, I should probably introduce you to Joe Haslin. He's the bounty collector. He's right up this way. I'm not staying. I'm not staying in a goddamn camp. Yeah, do whatever you want. You know, while you're here, uh, I'd like to introduce you uh, to someone. Her name is Sarah. She had a kid sister that, um, well, her kid sister reminds me of you, so I thought that maybe you would like her. I had a sister. She was older than me. How pain in my ass. Kind of reminds me of my older brother, Boozer. Real pain in my ass. Actually, he's not my brother. Um, we rode together in the MC. And he's the head of security around here, so you should probably meet him too. I told you I'm not staying. And I heard you. Seriously, do whatever you want. So what kind of gun you got there? Are you making sure that you ride out with plenty of ammo? Yeah, I got enough. I'm good. Well, I always rather had to work at that. Well, I can't say I expected to hear from you again. What is it this time? Believe me or not, I'm glad to see you again. That night at Wizard Island didn't seem to go well. What can I do for you, O'Brien? I'm here to warn you. Warn me? Warn me about what? You remember, I told you the infected were evolving? Right, yeah, freak's a freak. What the hell do I care? <laughs> the strain of the virus, its effects on the human nervous and lymphatic systems is accelerating at an exponential rate. <laughs> they knew all along, of course. It was happening. 
the men above me. That's why they were so cautious, so secretive. They're coming. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do to stop them. There's nothing anyone can do.